hi guys it's clan here and welcome back to our channel in this video i'm going to show you how to triple boot your laptop or pc i will be installing three operating system inside this laptop with ubuntu windows 11 and chrome os however for amd device for laptop and computer sometimes chrome os won't work if you are an Intel user you will have an advantage installing Chrome OS in your PC and making triple boot in your computer system. So now let's begin with our tutorial. The first thing I do is I install Windows 11. If you are first time you can watch my old video on how to install Windows 11 because I believe most of us knows how to install Windows 11 and most of us already have this Windows 11 in their computer and laptop. And next thing I did is I download this Ubuntu operating system which is the 20.04 version LTS means long term service version in this site. I will be sharing the link of this site and my third application that I downloaded is the Rufus to make a bottable device for both Ubuntu and for windows after i downloaded the uh, rufus and ubuntu i make a portable device for my ubuntu operating system so you just click this device and choose the ubuntu iso files which you downloaded and just click start but I don't need to do this since I already have the Ubuntu bootable device. And now we are in the most important parts of this tutorial which you need to download this branch file, choose the latest version and also this Realmos file or this recovery files for Chrome OS, choose the latest version of Realmos and also download this multi underscore that is H which you'll be using as a command to run and install Chrome OS I will be sharing the link of these files in the description and also you need to download this grab to win files for booting but sometimes you actually you don't need this but if you want this you can download this also so now I have these three files in my folder which is the branch file and the uh, chrome os ramus and multi install the change what i'm going to do is i will extract these files inside the branch file there, there are four files so i'm going to extract this to a new folder This file will be used in installing the Chrome OS. So as you can see it's already extracted. So these are the branch files. It has four files inside which is the Chrome OS install.hh, ap, legacy and ap secure and rootc. So I'm gonna make a folder which name Chrome OS and I will be transferring these files, these four files to a new folder which is Chrome OS. So next is we will extract the Chrome OS Ramus. After we extract the files, we will also transfer this to the Chrome OS folder which we created. So there will be 5 files here and lastly is the multi-install.sh. 
so you will have six files inside the chrome os folder and make sure you will change the name of the chrome os recovery files so we will change the name of this chrome os to ramos underscore recovery that bin we will just remove this part delete and delete so the name is ramos underscore recovery that bin so there you go we have these files it is already for the installation of chrome os in our laptop and then we will copy this folder and transfer it to our bottable device which is the ubuntu so this is our bottable device the ubuntu so i will be transferring here this will be like this inside your bottable device folder so now we will open this device and install the windows os make sure that you turn off or disable your secure boot so i will just fast forward installing the windows since i know that most of you already know this that most important part in installing windows is you should make a partition for your windows operating system only i made 90 7 gig or almost 100 gig for my windows operating system because the three operating system will be in the same storage or hard drive so you need to make sure that you properly make a partition in installing triple boot so now we are done installing the windows 11 in our laptop but if you already have the Windows 11 in your device, you don't need to install Windows 11. You just need to make a partition for your other OS that you'll be going to install. Now we will be installing the Ubuntu OS in our PC. So I will be showing you how to install Ubuntu OS. The same process if you already watched my previous video on how to dual boot your PC with Windows 11 and Ubuntu this is just the same to so click normal installation install third party software and here you should choose something else this part you will make a partition to your Ubuntu OS after that we will choose the pre space we have here the almost 350 MB for free space we will click this plus button and we will type how much the size of the partition we will make and make it sure use as ext4 journaling file system once again this will be logical and beginning of space ext4 journal file system and mount point is slash and click ok so there you go and we will choose this device for bootloader installation we will choose this partition so the partition is this is the a5 it's the a5 partition which is the xt4 the partition that we made so now we'll go to install now and continue you must be very careful in, in this part because this may destroy your other operating system or your windows operating system and after that we will just fast forward this part since this part is just very basic you just have to set up your profiles and to finish the installation 
so this is it we already installed the Ubuntu OS and now we will be installing the Chrome OS we will just go to the files and find the bootable device and go to the folder that we made which is the Chrome OS inside this folder we will type or we will open the terminal or the command and type this command sudo sh multi underscore install that sh enter if you have the password just type your password or pin so it says that can't open the multi installer that is H. What we're going to do now is to transfer the files here. You need to transfer the Chrome OS folder to a new storage or flash drive. So we're already plugged in the flash drive and we will copy the Chrome OS files that we have in the Ubuntu bootable device. So fast forward, I already transferred or paste the files here in the Soren OS to shorter our video. So the files or the Chrome OS files is already in the new flash drive. So here we will open this again and right click and run the terminal. And here we will type the sudo sh multi install underscore underscore install that is h and type the pin and now it began installing the chrome os in our laptop and here just type y it means yes and type y again for another space and once you are here in this part you must be very careful again since we will make another partition for our Chrome OS we will choose this SDA folder which is our hard drive and we will now click this plus and we will type here how much will be the size of this partition so it's up to you what size of the partition for your Chrome OS I will just type here at 35 gig and make sure that the file system should be in TFS so this is our file partition the so in tfs and we will label this chrome os and click add so this is our partition for chrome os new partition number one in tfs chrome os and click this check button and click apply you must remember the name of your partition because you need to type it here. So the name of our partition is SDA6. We will type it here. SDA6 and click enter and type yes. This may take 5 to 10 minutes depends on your storage. If you are using SSD, this will be faster. So now we already installed Chrome OS, we will turn off the Ubuntu OS. And now we will go to our Windows operating system. We will set up now the Grab to Win. We will now go to this management and go to the Chrome OS partition. Just open this and click this Chrome OS Grab. We will copy this. Mumitwari Chrome OS part 
until here and after that we, we will open the grab to files or application here click manage boot menu and we will put add new entry and click edit custom code and we will paste here the code that we copied paste and save that's it and we will close this so this will appear just click ok or x in this part just click apply and ok so once done just click apply again you can also customize shortcut button here but we'll just go and restart this computer to boot the chrome os and just continue press any key and now we successfully installed the chrome os in our pc just set up the chrome os in your device of course you need the internet connection to set up your profile or email address for chrome os so we successfully triple bolted this laptop with chrome os windows and ubuntu so that's how you triple bolt your laptop or pc with ubuntu windows and chrome os just follow the step and this is very easy and once again this may not work on and the device because I tried it in my PC and I don't know why it won't work so you can try it but there's no guarantee that you can type all both because of the Chrome OS won't be detected but in Intel device I can assure you that this will work so if you have some question just don't hesitate to drop your comment and ask for clarification so that's all for today and if you are new in this channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and click the notification bell below see you in my next video goodbye and god bless